Hey guys, in this video, we're going to continue exactly where we left off from the text fields. And I'm going to show you how to actually create a form group for the text field that's going to allow users to enter the label, hint text, error state. And this form group is also going to span vertically and horizontally. So let's just go ahead and do that. The first thing we need to do is we can just go ahead and copy one of our text fields. I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to add the requirements for the text field for this form group that we, we have and we're going to configure them. So by default, I'm just going to go ahead and add some items. So this is going to be uh, label, we have some hint, and then we have the error. This is error. This is your error. And this is your hint. Let's just go ahead and rename this to hint. Let's rename this to error on the left and let's rename this to label. Um, so it's already renamed. It's already labeled, so that's fine. So now that we have that done, let's just go ahead and create an auto layout here. So we have this auto layout. I'm going to say the spacing in between the elements is going to be 10. Let's just go ahead and actually style these things. I'm going to say this is going to be our body text. This is going to be semi bold. Similarly here, this is going to be our hint. So it's going to be N80. Since this is also N80, so we're going to keep it consistent. In this case, this is going to be our danger 300 since that's our primary error color or danger color. So now that we have that done, we can go ahead and actually like these are the requirements that we needed for our vertical size at the very least. So let's just go ahead and create a component here. So now that we have this as a component, let's just go ahead and actually create another variant. This is going to be our horizontal variant. And let's just say that this is going to be horizontal. This one will be vertical. And let's just go ahead and say this is going to be our axis. So this is going to be our axis. Let's just go ahead and resize it. Uh, and say in this case, all of these things is, uh, are going to be an auto layout, but this thing is actually going to span word horizontally. Let's just go ahead and actually add a label container for this label so we can position it uh, similar to what the height for the input is. So it's like equal in height. Let's just go ahead and say that this height is going to be 40 since that's what the medium height is for our input. And I think actually we can configure it for the small variant since we are you we have the small variant that's coming first. Similarly here, this can be small. And I think in the small variant, this font size should actually be small. And similarly here, this font size should actually also be small. And I think this looks good. So let's see if, if I want to configure anything. I obviously want to remove this padding. I don't need this padding. Um, and I think this is pretty much okay. Let's just go ahead and actually try to resize it. So we have this, if we resize this. So this doesn't work, this resizing doesn't work. So let's just go ahead and say that this particular container is gonna be fill container. And then I'm gonna press enter to select the input the hint and the error, and I'm gonna say this is also gonna be fill. So as you can see now, it should respect it. So if I, let's say, add multiple lines of the error, this error should also uh, reflect the size. So that's done. I think our component is pretty much okay. Let's just see, let's just do the same for this. Press enter and say fill container to all of these as well. So now that this is done, our, our small variation is also done. I'm gonna add a new property, say size. This is our small size. Let's just go ahead and say that, well, let's just go ahead and first of all, move it slightly in the middle. Now let's just go ahead and duplicate both of these things and say that in this, sorry, both of these things are gonna be medium in size. And in the medium instance, what we wanna do is we obviously wanna change this text field to medium. And in this case, we wanna change this to medium as well. So now that we have that done, let's just go ahead and actually slightly increase the size as well. Let's just say that this particular thing is going to be 240 and this one can also maybe be 240. So let's just go ahead and make it 240. So 240. So now that that's done, let's see how this looks on command zero. Command zero basically means on our, na or on our uh, natural size. I think this looks good. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this again and say, Sorry, there's a problem here. So the problem here is obviously this is not being hug container and I think this would, was also not being hug container. So let's just go ahead and do that. So now it, this should be fine. Let's just go ahead and actually duplicate this and say this is gonna be our large size. 
on the large size we obviously want to change both of these inputs to large and maybe on the large size sorry in this case the label should also be 40 pixels and in this case the label uh, container height should also be 48 pixels so on this large size maybe just maybe we want to increase the label size to large semi bold and maybe 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 we just want to go ahead and increase this error and text to regular so now that we have that done i think this probably looks good and this is going to be our base variant this is not act this isn't even the the actual variant for the actual component for the form group this is just the base variant because we're making a really powerful form group so now that we have this let's just go ahead and actually play around with it and see if it works so horizontal vertical large medium small all of these seem to work just sorry this doesn't seem to work so if it's sorry this this does seem to work so small i think this looks fine so now that we have that done let's just go ahead and see that the error by default obviously would be hidden because that's a rare case now i want to go ahead and create a component on top of this that which is going to be our main component i'm going to say this is our from group form group and i want to have add i don't know tons of properties to it right so the first property is going to be the axis whether it is the default one or whether it's sorry whether it's the horizontal vertical one or whether it's the horizontal one so i'm going to go ahead and just change this to this is sorry let's just see if this is actually i this is horizontal and this is vertical so this should be vertical this should be horizontal and i'm just going to go ahead to the inner child and i'm going to say this is going to be our horizontal variant so these two properties are now here let's just go ahead and give some spacing in between them i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add new properties to it i'm going to say i want a property which has the size obviously the size is going to be small by default i'm going to add a property that's going to have the label whether label is on or off or true or false I'm going to add another property that has the hint enabled or disabled so hint is true and then I'm going to add another property that has the error which is going to be false because it currently is false right so now let's just go ahead and actually create these I'm going to duplicate both of these I'm going to say that in this case we want the label to be false so the label should not be there so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hide this label and in this case I'm just going to hide the whole label container so now as you can see this these look pretty similar but that's perfectly fine now we're going to say that we're going to have a another instance where we're going to have the header uh, or the hint that's going to be false so let's just go ahead and make the hint false so i'm going to go ahead in both these cases and disable the hint now that that's done i'm going to say there's also going to be another instance which has the hint is going to be false but the error is going to be true so i'm going to say there's going to be an instance where the error would, would be enabled but the hint would be disabled and then i also need another instance which has the label disabled but the hint uh, is going to also be disabled but the error is going to be enabled so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to disable this i'm going to say that in both these cases these things are going to be hidden but the error is going to be enabled so even in this case the error would be enabled so this is the small variation for this powerful form comp form group component and let's just go ahead and say this is our our form group component i'm going to go ahead i'm going to basically just say form group and let's just move it here similarly on the text fields let's say this is going to be our base form group base form group so now that we have this done we just need to do one more thing to actually make the medium and the large size variants i'm going to duplicate these i'm going to pull, pull them all to the bottom i'm going to say these are their medium size and i'm going to go press enter and say that the size is going to be medium similarly i'm going to press shift enter duplicate all of these i'm going to say the size here is going to be large press enter and basically just change this to large i'm going to also move these to the bottom on the sidebar so the large 
is the last one, the medium are the, the middle ones and the small are the top ones. And here we have our extremely powerful component created. We can also do some alignment here just to make sure that things look good. But now if we just go ahead and actually duplicate this, you can see how powerful this is. So we have our vertical, we have our horizontal, we have the large, medium, small sizes, we have whether the label should be enabled, whether the hint should be there, whether the error should be there, and stuff along those lines. So if I enable the error, the error is there. If I enable the hint, the hint is there. If I enable the label, the label is there. There's a reason why I haven't created a variant which has the label, hint, and error disabled by default. The reason for that is obviously it saves the complexity, but there's also one more reason that is that we already have the basic text field which does not have the label, it does not have the hint, and it does not have the error. So we don't really need it. But just in case people wanna go ahead and create it, there are ways of creating it, right? They can just go ahead and actually go to the error and disable it by default. That's something that they can do. Or if they wanna, if we wanna go ahead and create it, we can just go ahead and create it really quickly, just so you guys know how it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize this a bit. And I'm gonna say that I wanna add two more variants. In this case, I wanna add a variant which has everything false. So everything is gonna be false. So that's this case. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this error. And in this case, we have everything false as well. So false, and then we have this disabled. Similarly, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate these. I'm gonna say the size is gonna be medium, press enter, change this to medium. Similarly, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna say this is gonna be large, press enter and change this to large. And here we have our powerful component created, which also has that instance, which where all three things can be disabled. And you can go ahead, you can change that to vertical, enable the label, enable the hint, enable the error. I also do not have a variant where both the error and the hint um, are enabled by um, appear together because I thought that was a weird case. But if you want that, obviously you can do that on your own. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Do let me know if there's something that you need me to clarify, or if there are any questions, definitely uh, add them to the comments. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.